Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, I'm Jesse, welcome back to another video. A um, little bit different, I'm going for a custom uh, this time. I did I did uh, do a video of this on my other channel, the Star Wars Go Figure channel, for the podcast that I do. Um, but I never got around to uploading it here, so I wanted to do it again. Um, and it's just a way to get a Black Series version of Return of the Jedi Luke um, using that which was a Walmart exclusive uh, Jedi Luke from last year um, that sort of came out around uh, Force Friday. But I uh, just wanted to have a close-up look and show you guys how I achieve that. So uh, I'll set up on a little table and we'll take it from there and get a closer look. All right, so here I have the figures. Um, obviously, the one on the right here, this is how it came. Uh, this is the uh, Jabba's Palace um, sort of version, start of Re Return of the Jedi version of Luke, um, where he still has the flesh attached to his hand. Um, what I did discover very quickly is that the body mold is exactly the same as the Return of the Jedi that we got way back in the early days of the Black Series in the blue line, uh, back in 2014. Um, and unfortunately, it wasn't as simple as doing a straight head swap because the colors of the neck have been upgraded on the new figure. So the head would have looked out of place on the old neck because it was such a lighter plastic. Um, they hadn't updated that either. So what I what I did is I uh, tri actually cut the extra one of these soft robes off. Um, I just sliced it down the side there and I put it in an accessory box because I really didn't need it anyway. Um, probably could have tossed it out. Um, but you never know for customs, um, so I did just get rid of that and then it wasn't until underneath that I realized that they actually left this intact. Now if you remember from the original Return of the Jedi figure, you were able to swap these two parts out. Now you did, we're just left with this, with this new figure, but I still had this spare flap for the, from the old uh, Return of the Jedi figure. I predominantly displayed that figure with this piece. So I have the option to switch it out, therefore creating like the final dual Luke um, before and after he's uh, zapped by Palpatine. The only thing I had to do um, was change the lower hand uh, so that his hand was now gloved. Because if you remember in Return of the Jedi after his hand gets shot at the Battle of uh, the Sarlacc Pit, he then has to put a glove on to hide that damage. Um, so I think what I ended up doing, um, because the wrist joint, I couldn't get it soft enough, I've since learned to use actual boiling water as opposed to just running under, running it under a hot sink. Um, is I think I ended up replacing the entire forearm and swapping out the joint at the elbow. So that worked as well because like I said, the body mold is exactly the same. There's no paint difference there. And uh, it worked out really well. So the only thing really from the old figure is that sort of chest plate there that goes over his shirt and this hand and this forearm, um, this rest of it hasn't made a difference. Um, aside from, of course, the belt. Um, now that's something I had to take off of the old figure because the new figure didn't come with one. Um, and that was as simple as, you know, running that. That's quite a soft plastic. So I ran that under some hot water and it was able to just slip over his uh, legs from the bottom up. Um, and I think I have super glued that in place. Yeah, I have. Just so it sits exactly where it needs to. I think I just put a tab of glue behind the belt there. And uh, in my honest opinion, this is, you know, the definitive uh, final Jewel Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. And uh, I feel like it was, <laughs> Like a lot of people, it was a missed opportunity to put it out in a deluxe version where you could slip a robe over the top and switch it out and, you know, have two different versions. They would have guaranteed to sell multiples of um, to each person. Um, throw the hood in there, throw, swatch, switch out hands. It would have been perfect. Um, but nevertheless, uh, this is something I definitely recommend. I've seen a few people do it. Um, and uh, the video that I put on my Star Wars Go Figure YouTube channel actually did pretty well. So I decided to uh, revisit it. I was looking at this figure the other day and just completely forgotten that I hadn't put it on my regular channel. So that's what I'm doing here today. <laughs> um, so it's a pretty simple custom, but I think it uh, warrants the result. I think the results warrant the 
the need to do it. So I'm glad I chipped in that extra cash to uh, get a second one. Um, I'm sure he will get a re-release at some stage anyway. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I just wanted to whip this together really quickly. And uh, until my next video, may the force be with you.